Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Acer laptop. This one is an Acer Aspire 3 laptop. The exact model for this one you can find it on the bottom sticker of the laptop. It will tell you right there model number N19C1. Also if you want to know exact model what component it has inside you can define it with this long number. It's an A315-56-38TB. And in this video, I'm going to go over and show you guys the inside of the laptop and show you guys how you can upgrade the hard drive, the SSD hard drive, both of them and what are the combinations that you can have, which ones are the best combinations. Let's get it started. Tools that you're going to need is an opening tool. I use the iFix screwdriver set and we're going to be using a Philips number zero. If you want to get the pro version, it will include you an opening tool and a few other stuff, handy stuff. But if you don't want to get the pro set, at least get the simple set. And for the opening tool, we're going to be using a guitar pick. And metallic ones are really suitable to opening covers and cases. All right, with these two on hand, what we want to do, we want to remove all the screws on the bottom of, bottom of the laptop, including the one in the middle. People usually forget that one. Go ahead and remove all the screws. Remember, all the screws are the same size and height, so that you can't mismatch them. So they're all the same. So put them in one pile. I'm gonna put a little magnet beside my screwdriver. I don't like magnetizing it all the time, so that way it's easier to lift up the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos and if my video is helping you guys out through your own upgrades, repays, and cleaning, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I will really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. It will be a great motivation for me to make more videos, take requests, answer your questions. All right, once we remove all the screws, now what we need to do is to remove the bottom casing. To remove it, all you need to do is to grab the opening tool, in this case guitar pick, stick it between the bottom and the palm rest. And then you just want to twist it outside, just about 45 degrees, and you want to hear a crack. Those click sounds that you do is normal, but you want to hear those, those are the cover getting loose. You want to do that to the sides to the front and to the left side there we go once you do the front and the sides you want to do the back starting from one corner stick it same thing that you did in the front end between the bottom cover and the palms and there we have it. the bottom case is already loose you can lift it up put it to one side all right down here you can see the battery the SSD M.2 drive here. This one is a PCI Express lane, so you can put an NVMe drive in here. I will recommend you guys to grab a Samsung brand. These are one of the best brands out there for and long lasting brands. Any Samsung NVMEs are really, really durable. I'll leave the link in my video description if you need. And in this side, you have a mechanical hard drive. You can go up to two terabyte. These are low profile uh, hard drives, so you can't put a 0 0.7 millimeters. It has to be a seven, I mean, seven millimeters or nine millimeters. This one has to be a 0 0.5, a low profile. Now you can remove the mechanical hard drive and put any type of 2.5 inch SSD, any brand. Again, put a Samsung away if you wish. You can put a four terabyte Samsung SSD in here or up to two terabyte mechanical hard drive with a low profile. And on M.2, it can go with an NVMe up to four terabyte, which is right now, if there's a five terabyte, you can go with that too. With the highest one I've seen is a four terabyte NVMe. You can install it with no issue. This one comes with 128 gig. You should always put the operating system on an NVMe drive, which is the fastest one. So your windows and your programs, everything, load up really quick and you can put your files your pictures games everything on a mechanical drive or on a secondary ssd all right with all those set uh, let's remove them to remove these two you do not need to remove the battery or disconnect the battery actually it's really not necessary but for those paranoid people that want to do it remove the tape this is called gaffer's tape and next you want to pull this jack backward put your fingernails at the side and just slide it back and the jack will come out loose to remove the nvme drive there's only one screw at the back that holds it in place remove this tiny screw 
and the uh, hard drive will come out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to pull it out in the same direction that it came it left up. So pull it out and put it to one side. If you want to replace it with an, another one, this is a different one. You want to bring it in in 45 degree. Some NVMEs do come with a two notch on them, but they usually come with one notch right now. So this one, it is a PCI Express NVMe, but this is two. So you want to grab a, we have tested with a uh, Samsung NVMe on this one with up to one terabyte with no issues. You want to plug it, push it in, in the really hard, as so the pins are in there. And then you want to bring it down and you want to make sure the screw hole actually is visible and you can screw it down just like that okay this is for demonstration purposes so i'm not actually going to put this one in here so let's put this one back in there and put the screw right on top to remove the mechanical hard drive and you don't have to disconnect this cable from here but it's best to do it all you need to do is to put your fingernail on top of on the bottom of this white cover and lift it up 90 degrees it's very soft so lift it up 90 degrees and grab this flex cable and slide it bring it up a little bit in 45 degrees and pull it out because it has a little ear lobes to the sides you see that ear lobe that it has that will prevent it from sliding out so you have to land this one in 45 degrees inside the jack and then set it down and then lock it down so it won't pull it out so to lift it up just put your finger underneath and lift it up 90 degrees if i pull it won't come out i have to lift it up a little bit and then pull it out all right to remove the hard drive there's four screws that are holding a caddy a caddy is a bracket that holds the hard drive in place one screw two three four so go ahead and remove these four screws all right once you remove the four screws, you can lift up this hard drive this flex cable has a little adhesive to it so lift it up gently and it should remove that adhesive that is right under here so pretty much you just want to lift it up slowly all right now what you want to do is remove this uh, adapter right here you see how i have pulled the adapter from here i'm not pulling the cable i'm pulling the adapter sideways okay so we need we're going to need this adapter now once you get the new hard drive let's say that you want to replace it to a different brand hard drive or whatever ssd ssds are the same thing pretty much you need this metal bracket this metal bracket is being held down by four screws two on each side of the drive so what you want to do is remove these two screws on the, each side grab the bracket put it on this one and make sure the orientation of the sata and the power cable connector is the same thing so you want to bring it up put it on this one and then you want to just grab the adapter just make sure the big one is right there and the short connector is right there the SATA if you try to put it the other way around it will not go through so you want to smack this one right in there and you want to put it align it and place it in there before you screw it down, go ahead and put this jack in place in 45, remember? And then lock it down. Bring the cable. Now put the four screws that hold the caddy towards the bottom case. All right. Once you have the hard drive in there, now all you need to do is to pull this connector right in there for the battery, straight in evenly and put the gaffer's tape on top also something very important people don't realize and i get it in the comment area they're like okay i upgrade my nvme or ssd hard drive now when i turn on there's no windows or anything that's true because your windows is on your old hard drive or ssd and what you need to do is to grab a, before you do this process grab a usb drive i made a video how to create windows 10 or windows 11 boot drive they're both the same once you create your Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, boot drive, then all you need to do is to plug it in here on the computer and power on, and it will read off the USB drive, and it will install the Windows. I made a video, another video, how to install Windows 10. You can check those links in my video description. 
it will take about five to ten minutes to install your windows and you're set to go you don't have to worry about the drivers or anything like that windows 10 or windows 11 provide all the necessary drivers for your motherboard once you finished all you need to do is to grab the bottom case put it on top and squeeze the corners in the back side and the front side if you see any gap opening you just want to pinch them and it will just snap in place and the last thing down here would be to put the bottom screws on the bottom cover again i hope you guys like this video and help you guys out to do your own upgrade and if you did please click that like and subscribe if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a the video comment I always try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video